Hello again, Darth Debo here. I was looking at my how to install Fallout Fixed for Fallout 1, and Iden Fletch was asking about how to install the 6.4 patch, which at the time was important, but as of three days ago when he asked, there was already a 6.73 version, which, well, I don't want to be out of date, so I'm redoing this video with the new mods and the new links to it, so feel free to fix up your game with a little bit more advanced mods. So, starting with the website, which I'll put in the link as always, it'll bring you here to the Fallout Fix on No Mutants Allowed, and you're going to want to get the Fallout Custom uh, 6.72, or the Fallout Fixes Only, which is basically just the color glitch and some of the game-breaking issues that haven't been updated since the release. But I would go with the full custom version because it gives you more mods like weapon drop and other fancy little things that just add to the gameplay experience and make it more customizable. But they're not needed. So if you're a hardcore enthusiast who just wants the original game, then the fixes is for you. And then afterwards, you're going to want to go to this next link, which I will have also, which brings you to the 6.7.3 patch, which you have to have 6.7.3. Two to be installed already. It's right here. Big capital letters. People obviously miss it. I'm going to have the links to each individual download. Feel free to do whichever one you want. I already have them pre-downloaded because I actually was playing around with it earlier, like I said. I'm going to open up the custom. It's going to say this. You're going to want to run. After you start running it, it will be a few seconds. You'll get a little installer. It will be just as easy as the last one. If not easier. I think it's easier because you've already done it once if you did it last time. You're going to want to hit next. You want to click yes if you've backed up all of your data. Even if you haven't and you just don't care if your data gets deleted, that's fine. Um, you'll just have to re-download it from Steam or disk if you still have that. You're going to want to go next. Wherever it's downloaded, mine's in my... Uh, E hard drive, so I have multiple hard drives. So make sure if you have multiple hard drives, it's your first install. It's gonna you're gonna want to make sure it's in the right area. Then after that, hit next. Uh, oh, these are all spoilers. Don't want to show you that. So this is what the menu does. Fixes only. Uh, even if you get the full custom version, you can still go fixes only, or you can go standard, which is half purist, all fixes, and some of the new mods that they add with it full which is uh, all fixes and most of the new content, which you don't necessarily want all the new content maybe because it's not the vanilla game. And then custom, which lets you choose every specific thing and it gives you a lot of things to choose from. So it's actually really cool. I use the custom, like I said, prefer it. Then it's gonna wanna create this, hit next again. And then it'll let you download if you want the user manual and other reference guides if you want, create a desktop icon. I choose not to because you can run it straight from, yeah, right there, follow fixed. So you can run it from there. It works just as well. I'm going to click cancel now. Well, actually, next. Oh, nope, cancel. I don't want to install it again. I'll just mess up my 6.3. After you have that installed, you're going to go to the fallout fixed alpha patch 6.3. 7.3. I'll be installing it here to my library. It'll go step by step. You can either click through everything or might have it all just extract right where you want. Then you're going to hit extract. Once you get to the extract, you're going to hit yes to all. It's going to re-download over everything. Then boom. And congratulations, you've installed your fallout fixed. You're probably going to want to run it from the Fallout Fixed app application itself or from your Fallout 1. I'd show you, but for some reason Fallout 1 doesn't record, but Fallout 2 records with Shadowplay. So you're going to have to see if it works yourself. If it does work, you'll get a red background color of the original Fallout game. So it's just the Brotherhood of Steel member with a, black, uh, with a red instead of a black-gray background. So yeah. That was it. Thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, let me know. If there's anything you think I missed or any other help you need, leave a comment and I'll help you out as soon as I can.